Hello, I'm Linda Shalor, Chief Executive of Harworth, and I'm delighted to be sharing with you today our full year results. 2021 marked my first full year as Chief Executive of the group, and it was a year of strong momentum as our business really started to go through the gears as we stepped into our ambitious strategy to reach £1 billion of net assets over five to seven years. Our strong operational performance, combined with tailwinds in our end markets, particularly in industrial and logistics, delivered a record increase in EPRA NDV and our highest ever total return of 24.6%. During the year, we've made significant early progress against the four growth drivers identified in our strategy. Firstly, we're increasing our direct development activity. Harworth has a 28 million square foot industrial and logistics pipeline, and our strategy is to increase the amount that we directly develop from this. During 2021, we started on site with 430,000 square feet of new development, including at Barden Hill in Leicestershire. And we intend to ramp this up further again in 2022. We'll be shortly starting on site with an additional 191,000 square feet at Rockingham and the Advanced Manufacturing Park at Waverley. And in the coming months, we're starting site preparation works for a further 2 million square feet of development and expecting planning determinations for a further 2.8 million square feet across two developments in Yorkshire. Secondly, in 2021, we delivered a step change in residential plot sales from our 30,000 plot residential pipeline. And during the year, we made land parcel sales representing over 1,400 plots, which is a more than 60% increase on our average annual rate over the past six years. We also secured planning for over 1,500 homes, including 1,000 at our Ironbridge site, and we'll shortly be launching our first single-family build-to-rent portfolio. We're also scaling up our land acquisition and promotion activities, and during the year, we made two significant freehold acquisitions, which together add 1.5 million square feet of industrial space and a potential 600 plots to our pipeline. Finally, our investment portfolio, which is focused on the industrial sector, continued to pose robust operational metrics, with very high rent collection, very low vacancy, and a busy period for lettings activity. These high quality assets are led to a diverse range of occupiers, and over the next five to seven years, we intend to reposition this portfolio to modern grade A. We've also made great progress with the enablers of our growth strategy. Our financial position remained robust with an LTV of just 3.4% at year end. And we recently agreed a new five-year £200 million debt facility with NatWest, Santander and HSBC, which will significantly increase our flexibility and firepower. Our sustainability programme, the Harworth Way, continues to be a key priority for the business. We have this year identified eight focus impact areas focused on communities, planet and people. These will define our approach as a business and set a framework against which we can measure our ESG progress. As part of this, we are today setting a target to be operationally net zero carbon by 2030 and fully net zero carbon by 2040. And finally, to resource our growth strategy, we've made a number of key appointments across the business. These new hires have brought significant expertise and greatly strengthened our leadership team as we embark on the strategy. We remain a resilient, well-capitalised through the cycle business. And we have made a great start as we step into the delivery of our strategy, doing what Harworth does best, creating sustainable places where people want to live and work. What Harworth does in the regions and how we do it really matters. I believe that Harworth has both a track record of delivery and a deep understanding of what it takes to successfully deliver large-scale regeneration, and that we can therefore play a key role in helping local and central government to deliver on their core agendas on housing, levelling up and the green economy.